and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a sparkle. We're going to use a render function called Linova. Let me just render it and you can see the number of lines is generated clockwise. And this is what we've got. The background, it was white before. Let me show what it looks like if we have a transparent background. So I create a new layer, make it transparent. And we're going to render the same line over onto this layer now. And the transparent background is kept. So make sure that you add a layer with the color that you need before you use this render function. Now let's go over the parameters of this render function. So the first one number of lines, that's obvious. Sharpness is also self-explanatory, but the offset radius, let me change that. And I keep everything else as it was with the first that we've created. And you can already see in the center how the offset has changed. So with the high offset, we'll get this effect and a low one, we'll get this. Let us go to the next parameter. And this the randomness. Let me go down with it as well. And when we have a high enough offset, we can see that right here, it's much more orderly with the low randomness. And this one had a high randomness. So these lines start at different points when you increase the randomness. If you want to have a sparkle, just add a couple of lines more. I would say 200 should be fine. If it's a little bit too small for your canvas, you can scale it up. Just use the scale tool up here, or you can also press Shift S. Left click on your canvas, and you can drag these corners to make it a little bit bigger. So the offset was a little bit too high for this example, but you get the point. So if you want to create a sparkle, keep the offset low and then use the scale tool if needed. And this is how you can create a sparkling gimp. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.